it was just keeping our composure. Uh, like every other game, it's gonna be ups and downs. Uh, especially for me, I, I wasn't having the best of game, but I just tried to keep my composure, keep my confidence, and try to lead my team to a victory. We've been, we've been sending out a zone because I feel like a lot of teams can't match up with us offensively. So uh, them slowing us down, uh, not, we, us not being able to use our athleticism, that's the whole thing. So we're trying to adjust to that still, trying to knock down shots and all that. So that's just really the big thing, the zone so far. It's great to have a floor general, a guy that can um, handle the ball, make plays. Uh, as you see, he's probably if not the best ball hunter in Northeast Ohio, he's one of them. You can't, it's hard. I don't care who we play, they can't just take the ball from him. He's unbelievable with the ball, and that's why he has uh, Division One college look, looking at him. Um, I saw his leadership come out like he did every second half. He run the game, slow it down, become the best point guard in the state, in my mind, and do what he do. You play tonight without Tyler. You don't have Andre for the last four minutes. Right. What did this group show you tonight, do you think? Resilience. They kept fighting. And then you, I had some guys come in from uh, off the bench that could shoot. Andre Franks, he's a tough, hard-nosed defender. He's a football player, a really good football player, but tough, hard-nosed. He came in, he fought, he guarded Norman Hughes. I don't think Norman Hughes scored the second half. Right, so that was the adjustment I have. Put a guy on him and just keep running, running him, making him tired and standing in his face being physical. And, you know, it worked in our favor.